Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we are going to create custom roles uh, to manage the application and assign the users to it. So let's go ahead and start. Let's go to Azure Active Directory. And this you can see roles and administrators. And here you can see the custom role. Let's go ahead and select it. Let's say sample custom role one and let us say this has only read access so you can also uh, clone from a custom role uh, but in this case i'm going from scratch let's click next and here we have uh, different options different permissions so let me give the read permission as of now let's go to next and let's create the role so you can see there is a uh, sample custom role one has been created uh, with those particular permissions that we have given previously so this is how uh, you usually create the roles uh, the custom roles uh, let's go ahead and create a user and assign the uh, role to the that particular user let's go ahead and create okay let me do one thing uh, let me assign to the existing user so in this case let us say test two and here you can see the assigned roles let's click it and uh, let's add the uh, assignments here you need to select the role in our case we have created a sample role so i think it's not yet updated Okay, let me check. The rule has been created. Okay. not sure why it's not showing okay, let me create a uh, one more time A custom role let's say custom role 2 let's go to the permissions let's give it and let's go ahead and create so it's a custom role 2 not sure why it's not updating okay let's go ahead to test 2 assign roles and assignments okay <laughs> now we can see that there is a sample uh, custom role i think even the role even you can see a uh, test custom role that we have created i think this is the one okay let's go ahead and uh, click the first row that we have created sample custom role one so let's go ahead and click next so in this case i'm giving it active so if you want to know the difference between uh, these two please check the previous videos so let me give it active and uh, so here yeah, i need to give it a justification so let's say auth user so he's the authorized user so that's why i'm giving him the permissions uh, let's go ahead and sign 
So here you can uh, see that custom role. It, take, uh, it will take like few seconds to update. There you go. So as you can see, uh, this is how uh, we can create the custom role and assign it to a particular user. Uh, hope you guys understood the concept of uh, creating the custom roles. Uh, if you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.